All right, YouTube, we're here for another league today with uh, some Legacy Delver. Got beat up in our first one, so hopefully this one's better. We didn't really play a lot of Magic in our first league. I think it's pretty solid. We have no threat, but, you know, all right. All right, get that out of my face. I'm going to ditch a Daze because we have another one. That was a nice draw. Okay, so we can draw a true name, which we honestly probably have to. Like, we have to keep this true name, I think. Because we need some sort of clock. I mean, I could shuffle, because I have a brainstorm. And getting to this true name seems pretty unlikely. Because there's a good chance I have to daze. True name is just going to be so slow. I could also just draw the true name and have that be my pitch card to Force of Will and then draw Brainstorm next turn. Yeah, I don't think casting, like, the plan of getting to this true name is not great. So I'm actually just going to turn this true name nemesis into my pitch card and then be able to set up a Brainstorm. Hope they don't have another Simeon Spirit Guide. <coughs> so I have a fetch land on top of my deck. I really don't want to force this, but I have so many answers to it. that I think I'm going to let this go. We have so many lightning bolts. Of which we did not find any. So, let's put these back. Because what I can do is go Play my land, go EOT, bounce this, at least get a true name nemesis in play, and then let him recast it. And it's kind of like whatever. Probably have to force this one. Because we can't do our master plan. I hope just nothing that scary comes down here. Jeez. All right. All right, well, there's a Delver. Uh, I really didn't want to have to force that first one. But then they played the second one. Like, the triple moon effect kind of got me. Then it appears like there's a chance that I'm going to have to trade with this. Gross. Need another island quickly. Need another island I need my opponent not playing in. I can't fetch a blue that would stay, right? Because this this is a uh, I didn't have this tarn in my hand yet. This would get uh, only would be cut off by the blood moon. The one foot hills, yep. Yeah. 
How's it going, Jen? I guess I'll like end of turn to bounce this. All right, a yield, a yield. All right. So it is kind of odd that against the Blood Moon deck, I like the splash. But I find they trim on the Blood Moon cards after sideboard, and then like having the grudge to be able to hit chalices, thorns, and bridge is pretty important. So it's it's kind of like we kind of like shuck and jive them here a little bit. Get rid of Fork Bolt. Get rid of Flusterstorm. Get rid of one true name. And then we cut the Lava Man as well. Now we cut the Snag. Keep the Fork Bolt. Sometimes we clear it all up. Because it it's it's the one it's the one land that fetches basic mountain, you know it's not the one land but it's another it's another one that fetches basic mountain. So I don't know maybe it's not necessary. I mean it punishes there, but because sometimes it's just like you have got your scalding tarn to do that as well. Gross. So I think we're getting a trop with this. And we're going to hope that the trop, the, the library takes us home. Get that three ball out of my face. I don't want to wasteland them. Don't have another singing spear guy, dude. Okay. Flip, Delver. No. I mean, that's not a bad flip. I could have gone, like, played Trop and Brainstorm to set it up. Now we're in good shape. Again, I could play library, but like just wasting them here is way better than that. We just slow them down quite a bit. All right, three balls, whatever. Just gonna cut them off mana for the whole game. Turns out we didn't even have, we weren't even able to get to this. And a braid could get us, like if they get land a braid. No, I didn't do it on purpose because they're not messing for my mana. Like they're, they're not wastelanding me. The basics are like actively good in the matchup. I usually only board the drop in against decks where I'm boarding out my wastelands or decks that are going to attack the drop. So like I'll board the drop in against like Miracles and I'll board it in against Stoneblade, Death and Taxes. I even just boarded in against Blue Red Delver and cut a wasteland because the wastelands are really bad. Because Wasteland just doesn't cast anything, and you really just don't get many targets for Wasteland.
All right, keeping it. I think the brainstorm will be my pitch card. Because the brainstorm's not as good as ponder. There's a chance I still get to day something next turn. The big question is, do I waste them or do I ponder? I kind of want to ponder. I think I'm going to. So I'm going to draw this Pyromancer, because even if we get Mooned, we can play it. Probably abandon the library, because the Pyromancer actually kills our opponent. Okay. I'm just going to daze this. <clears throat> we have plenty of answers to it, but... All right, they had the... Opponent had that. I mean, that's okay for us, though. We're not like... You know, it's not awful. We can still play our Pyromancer. I'm going to wait one more turn. I don't want to tap out of this. They could land like an ensnaring bridge or like a Chandra. That's really bad, though. I need some lightning bolts stat. That ain't it, Chief. I'll probably trade with this Rabble Master if I get the chance to. Yeah, I'm going to trade this Rabble Master. She's going to do too much damage to me. If I find a lightning bolt, I'm in I'm in business, but all right. Don't do it to me. I'm just gonna take four. Flip this delver and then play defense. Flip it to lightning bolt. Oh yeah, fork bolt. I could just play library, but I'm going to wait a turn on that. My opponent's hellbent, so let's just spell pierce this. Untap, fetch. It's unlikely this library is going to draw us any cards, but all it really has to do is just make sure that we can stay one one step ahead of our opponent. Just going to trade this while I can. It, it actually fixes my mana, which is like a consideration, but I could want that later in the game. That's a nice draw. I'd like to use this. So I can actually pay four, go to three, and then fetch and ponder, which gives me a whole new look at cards. Because this ponder kind of sucks, which I think I'm going to have to do. So pay four. I want to find it, look for like a lightning bolt, something that answers um, the 
Yeah, this is a shuffle. All right, that's not good. I told my opponent fades here. Which it looks like we did, so block. They could have drawn a Simian Spirit Guide here. They also could shut off my fetch lands, which is, you know, not nothing. Okay. So put on top. Put on top. Not going to attack. Just going to block. And then I'm going to start getting more aggressive because I can just kill this Lotus Petal to make a token. I guess I should have done that because of Chandra. That's not good. So now I'm just dead. Because I know my top card. Unless, unless I have like a lightning bolt on top and I can trade. I could have held my Delver back to help out here, but like kind of have to figure something out. All right, put on top, put on top. Any order, yes. Flamestorm, jeez, okay. All right, I mean, it's the best we can do. <clears throat> can't force a will, can't fetch. We'll get one new card every turn. All right, that's fine. You don't even have to grudge it. All right, we're doing it. I guess I should have grudged that because of this. So I guess I can't even play this Delver because if they go to play like whatever the dumb card is, a Rabble Master, and I can't grudge, then I have to chump with my Delver. So yeah. No. Maybe they'll cast it. Oh man, what a sad set of games. Had a daze one card down. Oh, that sucks. We have just been getting beat up this morning. It has not been a good day for the home team. Um, sorry, I just for, I don't remember if I did this or not. Oh, I still haven't gotten rid of those. Let me do that right now before I forget. Well, then the I think that I see what's the most linear deck that I don't care what my opponent's doing to do leagues while I learn. The model red prison deck. You know, you're just trying to do like super powerful things on turn one and turn two. Sorry for this live TV. I want to do this before I forget.
All right, 18 tickets. 10, 4, 4. Just do, I want to do this before I forget to do it. I took my KCI. Reanimator is a good one, also. I've been paired. Let's see if we can turn it around. Who would like to play first? I will keep this hammer and he'll land out. Now my was laggy because I did a trade. It's a pretty good hand from the home team. Yeah, I have to restart Moto now. All right, my opponent's on the same plan as me. So we're going to play blue, white, or blue, red, Delver. I would like to flip this to a ponder, yes. Start with an attack. I'm actually just going to play my wasteland and um, just ponder. Holy shnikes, Moto's losing its mind. There's more play to sneak and show. I don't really want this. I just want a red source to be able to get my uh, Lava Man in play. That's not bad as well. All right, no flip from our opponent. Like, you know, there's, like, a lot of things. You can just, like, jam with Sneak and Show. Excuse me. So it's blue-white Delaware. Okay. Dead. It's not worth firing off a Force of Will to fight there. They spell pierce this? Okay. Holy shnikes. Moto is losing its mind here. So we're going to novice can 3-2 with consistently. Well, I don't think there's anything that a novice can 3-2 with consistently. You know, like... You know, everyone, everyone's good and everyone's got plans. Just gonna, you're going to force this, bud? Okay. No, they probably have another way to deal with it. Or they're just going to waste my red source. Like a jerk. So my opponent's deck is more of a Stoneblade deck than a Delver deck. It's just like, it's only got like two dazes in it. Like I'm not going to respect days as much out of this deck. Okay, we saw that coming. So we're drawing Delver and Brainstorm's underneath, or Ponder's underneath, excuse me. I don't really want to just burn a brainstorm. I kind of just want to play my Delver flip and then look to interact with this in combat. So that kind of makes that kind of means I'm priced into force of willing like a Stoneforge Mystic. Well, that's not true either, Invipool. Like, I would argue that in Legacy there are decks that you can actually understand less of what your opponent's doing. In standard, you need to understand more of what your opponent's doing because the games are, are, on average, the games are more interactive, in my opinion. There are legacy games that are much more interactive than standard games. There are also legacy games that are just like, all right, here's my chalice. You know? So I don't necessarily agree with your statement there. Um, 
I'm just going to play my Delver. Like, I really don't want to brainstorm and brick. I only look at two extra cards. Yeah, I was not aware that if there was anything. Yeah, there are. Like, you know, your your Moon Prison decks, your Turn 1 Chalice decks, you have to understand how to sideboard. Uh, sure, but I think Modern is less interactive than Legacy. Standard does not have as many, like, complicated gameplays. Like, but standard is a harder format to I think standard is actually the hardest format to play because the metagame moves, decks shift roles drastically with sideboarding. Like standard is rough. So I'm not gonna get like we know our opponent has a spell pierce in their hand. So I'm not just gonna play my ponder because I really don't wanna have to uh um deal with like this spell pierce so what i'm going to end up doing is just attacking and then brainstorming at the end of my opponent's turn so then i can have the opportunity to like sink their mana or spell snare or something and then untap and ponder to find a red source to kill this yeah the, the hard thing about Standard is that the metagame shifts a lot. So, like, your deck can just be dead. Your deck can just be awful, depending on what time, you know, like, when it is. Well, I, I don't necessarily... I kind of agree with that, because, like, sometimes... Sometimes I just, like, play powerful cards and kill my opponent... In standard, it's not necessarily like that. I mean, there are some games where it is like that. Okay, so we knew this was going to happen. And we didn't want to die on this hill. All right, give me a red source, baby. I will fight over this. Ugh. So we have shuffle. Now I'm in a little bit of trouble. Yes, pondering and brainstorming is difficult. Like, the gameplay of Legacy is a little more complicated, and, like, the blue mirrors are pretty difficult. But um, the hardest thing about Standard, in my opinion, is making sure that you can, like... Like, building your deck is much more difficult in Standard, and knowing your roles is much more dif difficult. Like, there is way more work in Standard before the game starts than in Legacy. So we're in a little, we're just kind of naked here, which kind of sucks. Yeah. This is where we're at. Right here. But when I watch uh, Punter Brainstorm, majority of the time it seems like there's a small focus. Here. Yeah, so that's not. That, yeah, I would I would disagree with that. Like I I have such an incredible I have like a very difficult time playing with Ponder. Brainstorm's easier than playing with Ponder. Jeez, I'm a pro. In my opinion, like I I can I have no idea how to resolve Ponder half the times I try to do it. game has been gross. We have to, that's a good play from our opponent to just deal with that. Oh, shoot. Nope. Turn off auto yields. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. 
All right, I'm going to just play a young pyromancer. Again, we like we open ourselves up to wasteland here, but you know that's the position we are in. I could just jam true name, but like if my opponent plows this, then like maybe I gain some life, and maybe that matters. I also just don't want to get like dazed. I mean, we've we've played eight turns, and I just have not given my opponent the opportunity to daze daze me. Oh my gosh. Moto. I just opened up one trade and you're dying on me, Moto. This is why I, I like to board out a Wasteland in the two color Delver Mirrors. Because Wasteland just doesn't convert very often and it's just really bad to draw. I might try to board in Sylvan Library against this deck if they try to go big. But do we think they're going to go big? Like, how close to Stoneblade are they going to... Are they going to sideboard into, do we think? Because the last thing that I want to do is get leveled sideboarding. Well, like, I don't under like, I struggle to sequence with Ponder a lot. Where does Stone Cold do a Trinity Nemesis? Get out of my face. Like, I don't, like, I always struggle whether I'm supposed to, like, yeah, and now I'm just, like, super dead. I can find Lightning Bolt, I guess. Like, Lightning Bolt lets me trade with this insect, and then I have an elemental back. I don't know. Like, I, I struggle to seek with Ponder. Like, when do I fetch? Um, like, do I fetch right now? Do I fetch before I ponder? Do I fetch, like, like that? that's what I struggle with quite a bit. All right, I mean, that's a potential answer. So I want this to resolve more than I want my Pyromancer to resolve. And now we just have to hope that they don't have a Trinity Nemesis. And this flips. Warts of Little Pitching Brain is fun, okay. So now we just go trade. Yeah, we're just cold to that, so we scoop it up. Oh man, now I've got to like sideboard and then restart Moto. All right, I think I'm going to move in on sort of like a bigger deck. Like we're just going to do some thinking here. We can go here, get rid of this, get rid of Fork Bolt, get rid of Vapor Snag, get rid of my Spell Pierces. So there's seven cards. Blossom well, Answer is great. All right, I'm going to cut this Snapcaster. 
I'm gonna cut one pyroblast. And I'm, I'm gonna try this. Let me just submit my deck and then I'm gonna restart Moto. Okay. So hang on. BRB, gotta restart MTGO. Uh, get out of this. I really don't like. I don't know. I think that the games, the the games have changed. Like I probably could cut a force and wealth, but like the legacy games have changed to where everything is so reliant on like true name nemesis that and like forcing your true name nemesis through or countering their true name nemesis that I really just want at least most of my forces. I probably should have boarded out one of them. Though. I just forgot to. But I think boarding out force is like the auto force of will board out is like a thing of legacy's past. Because the effects are just too swingy. Like Stoneforge Mystic is super swingy. Um, if they have Gideon, very swingy. Um, same thing with True Day Nemesis. Ugh. Okay. So hopefully Moto is a little bit faster, but I should, probably should have. I should have cut one. All right. I would like to play first. I would like to keep my hand. So we're gonna go Island into Ponder. We're not gonna get Wastelanded out of this game. It's going to, once again, like, I mean, we, we play with fire here that if we go get island, we don't find another land, and all of a sudden our red cards are cut off. Jeez, man. My opponent's ponders are cooler than mine. I like the merfolk ponder a lot. This ponder is also cool. Like the M10 ponder is very cool. Uh. Yeah. I got to shuffle. This just doesn't do anything. Ugh. And then we drew like a wasteland that doesn't cast anything. Yeah, it's tough, but I think it's right to do it there. I mean, we drew two red cards after, but, like, we also had double ponder. Like, we got to look at eight, ten, nine cards for a red source. Okay, there's our red source. And now we can't do anything because we don't have double red, and we are, we're just going to get, like, my opponent has true name nemesis, then we're in trouble. But we can kind of race a true name. I'm not going to play my own true name. I'm going to just play a. I think I'm just going to play a lava mancer. Yeah, I'm just going to run this lava mancer out here. Just start this going here. Yeah. No, it's a hundred percent right. Like, in my opinion, like you, if you can make it so wasteland doesn't convert, like this wasteland here, is a dead draw for us. It's not doing anything. And if my opponent doesn't make it convert, then we're useless. God, I would love to stifle the shit out of that thing.
right. It would take some stones to just jam a true name nemesis here, but like it would be good if my opponent did it. I'd like to draw a cantrip. If I draw a land, I'm just going to play True Name. Okay. I drew a land. I'm going to fetch an island here, or a mountain, excuse me. I can get dazed, but... Okay. But now we get to attack, and then I get to play Young Pyromancer. And then have a lightning bolt up. And then we just have to prevent, like, we can't beat Umazawa's Jitte at this point, which is rough for the home team. But such is life. I don't know if my opponent's going to attack here. Okay. That's not good. So I'm going to bolt my opponent. I just have to turn this into like a race. Nope, don't want any of that. I just need. All right, well, now we can beat Jit, which is nice. So my opponent's going to go to 10. And they actually have to be a little careful with an attack. Because we've got six power on board right now. So, like, we could kill them on the crackback. All right, there's Stoneforge Mystic. A land would actually be a decent draw. How's it going, Drake? A land would be nice because we could like turn on this second half of Grudge if they have an answer to um, 
whatever the dumb card is, the first half of it. Yes. All right, so I think I'm killing this Stoneforge Mystic. Two, three, four, yeah. Get this out of here. Yeah, it's like the one card that I just do, like, I need it against, like, the Aggro Loam and Death and Taxes decks. And so, okay. Two, three... Five, six, seven, eight. I might not play it. Like it's like the one card in the sideboard that I'm like, I hate until like I can fetch for the second one. Then I'm like, oh my god, this is great. I guess I could have wasted their fetch land there, but then I could have got spell pierced. A land would be nice. Wasn't a land, but it's going to protect our. Um, it is going to protect our ancient grudge. I left in one too many forces. All right, so opponent can't force it well. Yeah, I left him one, two. I should have boarded out a force, but I just hate boarding out force of will in these true name mirrors now because they just they just like revolve around this card. The Jurgit is good. I don't even know if, if a if a connection even saves them here, right? Because they gain like they can go like kill kill or gain four life. Gain four life go to five block here, they still die. Yeah, this card's stupid. It does kind of suck that this card's also become like what legacy fair matchups are about. This is why Storm is sweet right now. Storm just shits on these blue decks that are like, I true name you, you true name me, we all true name each other together. All right, so I should cut one of these and bring, I think, well... I just want another Pyroblast. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want all of my forces, but like... But if I don't have... But I need to win, like... I need to keep True Name off the battlefield. It looks like my opponent kind of sideboarded into a Stoneblade deck. They could be like going off what Harlan wrote about. Whoever plays your name, then whoever plays more, then whoever puts equipment that pumps is best. Is that so clunky? I get beat by more efficient stuff. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, that's why Storm is good. You know, if you tap it on three, then it's like whatever. Dark ritual, you. I'm gonna bring in a Snapcaster. I think. I kind of want to cut Grim Lava Mancer because it appears like my opponent doesn't have Delver in their deck.
I'm not in love with Flusterstorm. I'm not in love with Flusterstorm like the Stoneforge matchups. So, like, what if I went like this? Because even if they board Delver's back in, Pyroblast kills Delver. I basically just want to win the true name fights. The Sylvan Library is going to look stupid if they board if they have Delvers, but I think they boarded out the Delvers. I'm just going to go like this. I don't know if this is correct, but I feel like if I can stick the true names in like if I can win the true name battle, I'm going to win the game. So that's that's just what we're going to do. So this hand's pretty nice. This hand kind of covers everything. It's just the obnoxious part of Legacy right now is like so many of the matches just come down to that. Oh my god, I'd love to Wasteland that. Being able to convert a Wasteland would just be so huge. So there's a chance that what am I doing? If my opponent plays a Stoneforge Mystic, I probably have to untap and bolt it. But if I go with this, I can go get a Valk and then daze it. But I don't really want to set myself back that far. So I think I, I probably should have just played my Mountain. Yeah, so now we're going to just try our damnedest. Yeah, so I'm just going to fetch an Island and days this. And then we're just going to knock the top of our deck for a um, for a wasteland. I think my opponent's land light because they didn't use any fetch lands and they, you know, they have tundra plus wasteland. Yes. And now I'm I feel like I'm just way ahead right now. Yeah. Sniffed it out, boys. We used our noggins. We made it happen. You see that, Drake? You see that? See that pl them plays right there? If if Team Nova needs a consultant, just let me know. Just let me know. All right, now we're just going to press our advantage. We're going to get a Pyromancer down. Then we're definitely going to play another Pyromancer next turn. I can just wear your jersey, Drake. We look, we look the, we look the same. Me and that kid guy, we, we, uh, you know, we play leagues together. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Well, we got him there. It sucked to lose the mono red prison here. And it, I mean, it's also nice in these two-color Delver mirrors to just... And before all white guys look the same. Oh, my God. I was playing basketball yesterday. And uh, I was guarding a guy that looked similar to me and was also wearing a gray shirt like me. And one of my one of my friends I played with, who's black, was just going with the, y'all look the same. It was just so funny. It was very, very funny. Like he was he was rubbing it into us like on purpose. This hand's pretty good. This is Pleasant Kenobi, so he's either playing a prison deck or a uh, Death and Taxes deck. I know he was just messing with us. He was laying into us so hard. He's like, but you guys you guys all look the same, but but you two actually look the same. I think it's safer to ponder on one like. I'm going to feel pretty dumb if my opponent, like, goes turn one mom after I ponder and I didn't play my Grim Lava Mancer, but, like. Well, 
What do we think? Is it just like so cowardly to not play this lava man against Mr. Death and Mr. Thraven University himself? If we find days or force, we can deal with mom anyways. I don't really like these. All right. Don't chalice me, bro. Whoa. Why is she getting like dredged? I guess it was good that I pondered, but I'm going to lose this game real bad. Double Icarid. That's kind of beatable. Like, if we're going to be 100% above the rim. Uh, when do I get the Pyromancer going? Waste this next turn, cantrip. Oh, you'd have wasted this? All right, don't call me for being a consultant anymore. I just always feel like... Yeah. But I got so few lands. Okay. Yeah, well, my my thought of playing the Pyromancer also was like, like I would like to be able to waste like the the Cephloid one, but then also like, oh, first of all, I'm not super familiar with the deck. Like I don't play it, you know, I'm not super familiar when I make my decision. And then also like, um. I can start to create a board that can make it so they can't attack into me because I can start to deal with these bridges. Like, I'm not going to trade here, but I am going to start cantripping, and I'll probably waste them on their turn because I don't want them to flash this looting back. Well, therapy, you got it. All right, so you just take my ponders. That whole me getting the cantrip thing didn't really work out for me. So maybe I tossed this. Maybe I've already tossed it. All right, so now I'm just going to play Wasteland, Waste This, play Lava Mancer. Now we'll just draw a great. That's, that's the key I hear. And I can just trade. Like, I can trade here in order to get rid of this bridge. Block. So this is just a discard outlet. Rot row. Still can't dredge. I can't do anything about this. 
He's just like milling cards over. So I guess I just brainstorm first. I really, to tell you the truth, I'm not super confident in what I'm doing here just because I don't play against this that often. Like, I want to put back two spell snares and then give myself the option to, like, Lava Mancer a token in their in their draw step and then play Delver next turn. If that makes sense. They don't really want to play my Delver. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to wait until their draw step. Or until after they dredge? Yeah. Oh, I sh no, I shouldn't have attacked. Okay, so... Brings back an Icarid. Just one. Dredges into a second bridge. So now I want to Lava Man my token. I'm going to take some damage. Is it better to bolt my token in order to trade with this? Keep a little more of the battlefield? No, nah, I probably want to... Yeah, I'm just going to... I think I want to... I, want, I kind of want to survive... What's my opponent going to do? I could just go block this, then shoot the token and just take two. Because there's nothing he can do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to block because he can't do anything here. He doesn't have anything to flash back. So I'm just going to block this and then shoot the token. One, two. So I take four. Then I can attack with my Delver, or attack with my Pyromancer, play my Delver, and then my Delver is going to flip. So I can give myself the option to, like, Lava Man myself. But so Lava Man, like, one of my cards here. It's confusing to play against. Bitches just think we don't, sure. Alright, didn't hit anything. So now I can just bolt this flyer, block here, take five. And then my man is freed up more for next turn. So yeah, I'm just going to bolt this flyer so that my Delver... Or this can't block, so I might as well just bolt this. But that's kind of a losing battle. I guess if I bolt this, they don't have a discard outlet, and it slows down the Stinkweed Imps. Oh, this is tough. I guess I shouldn't have attacked with my... I'm going to bolt this, 
to make it so that they it becomes more difficult for him to um Yeah, but he can he can like repeatedly do it, right? Would it, it might slow him down. It, it might not matter enough like the one point that I save from it. It's probably negligible because the game's going to end before that matters. Yeah, that was probably stupid because he's just going to die before it really matters. gonna pass I guess oh, I should have done more math that was stupid because this has been seven five yeah I should have attacked yeah that was stupid but he could just not attack with this and then I wouldn't quite have that up I should have more math there for sure and he goes into a blocker I kind of just want to shoot this and take five. I need to. I need to find a way to start spinning my wheels. I don't think I'm gonna be able, like if I can find a way to deal with get this pyromancer going. I think I can take. I can take control. Of the, I can like start to own the ground. I really don't want to block with my lava mancer yet, though. Yeah, I, I should be up one more point of life. And I should have attacked with this if I wasn't planning to block. Yeah, I haven't played this game very well. And then maybe I should have shot the zombie. Unfortunately, we're not finding something to put on the stack. Can I attack? Three, block, block. I don't even think I can attack. Two of these come back. Shoot one, block one. Oh god, I'm just gonna like lose my board here. Because he's going to have three lethal attackers. Yeah, and I'm just dead as a doorknob now. <laughs> Unless he puts a spell on the stack. Like, if he, he plays therapy, then I can go, like, daze my therapy, spell snare my daze. I see a block, block shoot. How are we drawing a bolt though? Like, are you shooting upstairs? Or are you trying to like manage the board? Block shoot, block. Get my Delver. Block here. Block with Delver. Block, shoot, block. Block, shoot, block here. Take one. Do I just like need the Pyromancer? Oh my god, I'm so dead. <clears throat> I think I need to keep my Pyromancer in play. So I'm just going to go block, shoot, block here, trade, take one, and then like hope we just rip a bunch of spells off the top. Then Lightning Bolt doesn't kill them. 
If I go block, block, shoot, I can brainstorm into double bowl, which is probably my best line. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to shoot this. And then brainstorm into double bolt like a professional. Oh, yeah, that was, that was just stupid. Yeah, that was stupid. I just, like, zoned out on the narc block. I was like, whatever, I need to draw the lightning bolt. Let's see if it punishes me or not. All right, that's step one. Nope. Uh, we had one bolt there, but not two. Oh, man. I feel like we could have won that match. Okay, so this comes in. I don't really know how to sideboard here, but I think this comes in. I'm pretty sure this comes out. Um, the libraries are also like kind of maybe. This probably, what does this do? This just checks the three ones for the whole game. Spell snares are garbage. Yeah, spell snares are horribly bad. Grim Lava Mancer. Lava Man kind of did work. Fluster Storm's not good. Unsummoning Echo Ray doesn't seem that bad. Staticaster is great. Maybe these libraries are just nonsense. Like they're just too slow. Fork Bolt can clear away some creatures. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. I, I'm not sure that's super great. Like, I don't know if it's better than Lava Mancer or Lightning Bolt. Like, these are probably my these are probably my two worst cards in my main deck. Or you can argue maybe some of the true names are too slow. Maybe I should cut a true name. But like the vapor snag just seems so mopey. It just doesn't seem like an actual way to do it. All right, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with Twitch chat for this one. We're bringing one in. Let me cut one more of this, please. How's it going, Teddy? All right, this is what we're going to do. Fork Bolt goes to the face. All right, I would like to play first. All right, well, I can daze an enabler, and I have a delver. Then a ponder to search. I think I'm going to keep this hand. Like, I could get run out of the gym with this hand. Oh, hang on. What's going on? Are you okay, buddy? You all right? Dad, I'm stoned. They gave me a sedative. Opponent kept six. Flip to surgical extraction. <laughs> you got it. You gonna daze me? You gonna name days? Okay. All right. Let's. 
Yeah, video, video name days. I need your name days. All right, you helped me out there, Professor. Jeez, I'm What does that give him the green light to do? Like, if he hits LED, he can then crack LED and, like, flash back Faithless Looting? But, like, that gets dazed. I just dazed the LED. No, you do not get to empty your hand. Sad. All right, attack for one, and then I'm going to ponder. Alternatively, if I just play the second Delver and I flip, it's a two-turn clock. It's not dredging. What did he do? Like, why did he play that into a daze? I kind of just want to play Delver and hope. But, like, I feel like there's something going on if he played that LED into that daze. You know, like, so, so, something just smells kind of fishy. That, I feel like, I feel dangerous, but I feel like the opportunity at a two-turn clock is just too good. He's going to lose a second days. All right, so my opponent knows my hand here. So I guess I can just let this happen. Because if I have more mana in play next turn, it's going to help me out. So he knows it. I can daze this, but it doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to let this go to, just to keep my land in play. Named Lightning Bolt. Okay. All right. Plays the cavern. I'm just super, I'm just perplexed about what is going on over there. Sad. He's a, um, he streams, I think. Are this, is Pleasant Kenobi, is that the, I don't know if that's the Channel Fireball guy or that's the Three Men University guy. All right, I'm going to attack first because we're definitely attacking. CFB. The British guy. Now, this is a good old shuffle because our Delvers aren't flipping. Yeah. All right. I'm going to daze this. I probably shouldn't even daze this. I'm just going to flip my Delver. This can't block flyers. Dude, I'm just going to flip my Delver. I'm going to flip my Delver to a Ponder, and then I'm going to bolt my opponent's face. This is one hell of a game here. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to set this ponder up. These delvers are going to flip, and then I'm going to merc, merc this. All 
Okay, I have the same line as Drake. I'm back on for a consulting gig. Peace. Yeah, sacking the therapy probably would have been good. To be fair, I mean, he might be struggling, but to be fair, like, I think that, um, he, he, I, I wonder, I, he might not play this deck very often, he just might be having a hard time playing it. All right, I'm just not doing anything. There's got to be a reason that he's doing it like this, you know? Played a Dag Vaden and stole my LED the other day. Okay, so he can't like crack and then street wraith. So I guess I just bolt him on his upkeep. Okay. Begin the sideboard. All right, submit. All right, this is a mulligan. This is a key. Probably just ditch a lightning bolt and hope I draw a land for my uh, the Vancouver Mulligan because it was my last card. <laughs> What's up, bud? How you doing? Oh man, Phillies. The old Philly boy is a little stoned, to say the least. He got surgery yesterday to remove a wart that was on his ear. It's gross. Okay, don't need surgical. Tilt. So he's just on some sedatives now to make it so he doesn't get out of his ear. So I've got one cage, another surgical, and a snapcaster that would be decent draws. The Putrid Imp would be super annoying right now. But that's why I'm home today, just because Phil's out of it. So he knows he's playing in the Spell Pierce. So he's got to have, like, maybe the blue one. Hey, come here, Phil. Philly, come. All right, why don't you lie down, bud? You're just wandering everywhere. Why don't you lie down? Sit. Sit, buddy. 
Why did we mulligan the seven? Because we just didn't have any hate. I just think I think I could have done better with a six. Okay, so now I just wasteland this cephaloid thingamajigger and then play Delver next turn and flip it to Brainstorm and just kind of hope that's enough. Because now if he casts a spell, he's done. We're owning. And like, if we'd have had a Delver, like I, I think Pyromancer on the draw is like, as your first threat with no good graveyard interaction, is just too slow. Rut row. Well, I'm just going to daze. Even if he cracks this to looting, I'm just going to daze to make him lose his land. Whoa. Breakthrough. Draw, so draw four cards, then choose X cards in your hand. Discard the rest. What does this do, Daisy? Just draw four cards. I guess I just make him crack his thing. But then he's gonna but then he flashes back his looting. But he's gonna pay one. Yeah, so I daze this. Yep, yep. Took me a second, but I got to it. Yeah, took me a hot second. Okay, so he pays. Sorry about this. Okay, so he can start dredging, but he didn't hit any. You only hit one dredger. So our plays are made for us here. So our opponent's going to be able to troll us here. Okay, didn't hit anything. But still has a uh, flip to brainstorm. Yes, I should brainstorm now, and so I'll put this back. Put this back. Play my land and attack. What I'm wondering if if it's worth brainstorming again if we can hit one more card. Look, one more card down for a surgical. So my opponent's got bridge and therapy. They only have one bridge though. I think I can just race this bridge. Like, like let this Narcomoeba come back and then it doesn't do anything. Oh, if I bounce the Narcomoeba, then we're good. Gas. Get out of my face. I don't even really want to play this Pyromancer because if shit hits the fan, he's just going to have the ground locked up with these bridges. And I kind of just want to be able to like I, saw, I almost want to brainstorm now to find another Delver. I would look at True Name and two other cards. Yeah, I'm going to brainstorm now. So put this back. I almost just don't even want any more threats. I just want to dig. How do I put... Though the True Name is going to let me attack through stuff. Uh, 
I can keep, I can put these two back, but then I'm drawing that. I can put these two back. The conservative thing to do is to play Pyromancer so that if he misses, so I could just put back Bolt, True Name, play Pyromancer. Kind of like what you're saying, Drake. Yeah, and then I guess True Name Nemesis next turn gets through everything. All right. Yeah, I think I think I messed up here a little bit. Like I wasn't like super consistent, but he just misses. Turn him sideways, play Trune Nemesis. And then he's dead on the board. Alright, so he can he can ick it up, but I can block the shit out of that thing. So this looks like it's pretty, pretty good at this point. They have a therapy on the stack. I've got this in the wrong place. Sorry about that. Name's Lightning Bolt. I guess this one zombie can now get through. So I guess I can ponder for... Oh, well... I forgot I had that. Hidden on top like an absolute professional. I forgot I was an absolute professional. Sometimes you just forget how good you are. And that's what happened right there. I forgot that I put the duder on top of the deck. The bolt. But I appreciate everybody for showing up. We got 45 viewers here on a Tuesday morning. nice to see everyone supporting the legacy i get a lot of uh twitch i get a lot of twitch support to play legacy i do not get a lot of youtube support to play legacy which kind of hurts my feelings a little bit i think this is one of these hands that we just like say okay we're gonna keep it <coughs> and <coughs> we just hope You know, like, I don't want, like, this is a spell, like, you know. I like this deck a lot. I, I think it's, I think it's fine, like, I don't know, gross. Legacy is, because I can't shit post in real time on YouTube. Legacy is just pretty flat at the moment. All right, we're going to play this Delver. So, like, there's nothing that's like super better than anything else. I think Ant is probably the best position deck at the moment. Because like I think it's good against the decks that I think are pretty good. I think it's good against Stoneblade. I think it's good against... Uh, I think it's good against um, uh, Delver. All right, so now I'm just going to attack, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a Wasteland and attack, and then hide behind this Force of Will. That makes sense. Yeah, Miracles isn't – just Counterbalance is really good, right? If I can just float a 1. Really hoping that these Delverinos flip. I don't want to wasteland anything right now. Okay. 
Well, now this is this is going to get cute. I'm going to play this lava mancer out because it's just what we got to what we got to do here. Keep this fetch land. Maze of it is annoying, but okay. All right, so now we gotta do some thinking. If I attack with everything, hold up this wasteland, play true name. I get in for four damage, they go to eight. And then if I attack with everything again, then like I have wasteland for this and I have force of will for crop rotation. And then let's just say like we prevent them, like I don't think they're gonna be able to make it on my turn if we force of will a crop rotation. So, they make it on their turn. They take four. They go to eight. We've got true name in play, and then we're good. So I think I'm just shipping with the team here and then playing true name nemesis. Alternatively, is there a way that having, like if I go attack with these two, they undo it. Takes three, go to nine. I lava man them to seven, bolt them to four, attack again, but then I'm short if they actually get to make Dark Depths to where they can block and then maybe find a way to get out of it. I think my best play is to play True Name. Best play is to always play true name. And we're forcing a crop rotation here. Forcing the crop rot as you free my soul. We also have a chump blocker, which you know is kind of cool. I love me a chump blocker. Okay, Thespian Stage, Copies Forest. How do I lose? How do I lose? I feel like I should wasteland something here. But like then they can tabernacle me. Pay for all four of my things, attack, undo one. Pay for two of my things, they attack, I undo one. I'm just going to wasteland this Dark Depths. <clears throat> I don't see a mistake that I could make, though. I guess Tabernacle into... Tabernacle into whatever it is. Like, if they play Tabernacle on their turn, I could get into a little bit of trouble. Because now we're at the point of the game where I want to wasteland either Glacial Chasm or Tabernacle. Yeah, dude. You're out here loman. Double Maze. We can copy this tabernacle. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense as well. Oh man, it's tough playing against this deck. This, this deck's just good. It, it interacts on a weird axis. It's just hard. All right. So, we want in against 
plan. The old real estate deck. Where's Tim Schultz where you need one? Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Um, I'll be cutting Fork Bolt and Flusterstorm in one days. I switched the days for a spell pierce on the draw, on the play, excuse me. And then I've been bringing in my Trop. Two Surgicals. So I might not bring the, I don't know. This is something that's hard where it's like, I don't know if the splash is actually good for me. Oh, why do I have a million cards for this matchup? I don't have that, don't have that many to take out. I didn't even bring in my vapor snag. Oh, I brought, I actually clicked on the grudges. Okay. I was like, why is this not adding up? I'm going to cut another Pyromancer. And then just go like this. I could cut another land. But I don't, I don't like cutting lands that make mana. So I could just cut a fetch land and then play, keep a Pyromancer in. Or I can cut a daze, but like my Delver's not really flipping. But I need to get the three mana to land true name, or I need to disrupt them. I'm going to try this. 20 lands might be too many, but more lands against the deck with Wasteland and Port and Ghost Quarters sounds kind of nice. Yes. I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'd like to play a Delver or have a Counter Magic. This is already kind of a dud. Oh, this hand's potentially very gross. This hand, I probably have to ponder on one. I'm going to keep and I'm going to ditch my. Spell Pierce. I think the upside in the library is worth keeping it, though. You know, I'm, it's likely... Like, the Spell Pierce, I don't think it's going to do me very much. The library might claw me out of something. Gross. All right, now we're on the true name plan. Okay. If two cards. If I keep this pile and put surgical extraction on the bottom, force of will on top, wasteland. I have a daze, so I guess I could actually just draw the surgical and then surgical, like surgical the wasteland, then pick up my daze and not pay for it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go like this. Like, that might have been a shuffle. Gamble. This is probably for exploration or loam. Probably loam. Or maybe wasteland. So they milled the... Uh, okay, great. So now, I want to surgical this right now before they can untap and, like, tranquil thicket it. So let's... Get rid of this right now. Oh, man. So I don't really have a good play here, to be honest. Unless I just go Delver Wasteland. 
I didn't say right meow. Because if I go Delver Wasteland, I can actually deal. But then I lose to a land no matter what because it's from this. How's it going, Ray? I'm just going to play my library and hope. Because I just lose to a land. Because the, they either play the drop of honey and I can't daze or they just molten vortex it. No, Phil, Phil got some surgery and he's on some painkillers. So there's got to be someone here to watch him. All right, dude, don't draw land. Yeah. Take an eight. They just scooped it up. Okay. That's a pretty loose concession. What were we drawing? We could have drawn... Next, next time we got one. So we would have hit a land for true name. All right. That was kind of an early concession, though I think we were in a pretty good spot. I did just have to jam and get lucky. But I don't think I had a very good play regardless, because if I go Wasteland, if I go Wasteland Delver, a land kills me two different ways. And if I Wasteland, it also gets me further away from casting my True Name Nemesis, which is what really matters. So I think I want to either... Cast library because that may moves me closer to Nemesis or do nothing. And doing nothing sounds pretty mopey. I don't remember if I had a cantrip in my hand. Yeah, he's he's doing better. He just he just high, dude. My dog's high as a kite. His eyes are big. He's just sitting here chilling out right now. I can just concede if my opponent takes four cards. So I'm playing a blue mirror here. Tilt. I'm going to play this because I can set up my Delver, and then if I have to protect it, I can still protect it, even though I'll have to fetch. This is pretty medium, but it's going to flip my Delver. And Brainstorm's just always nice. I don't know what I'm playing against. If I'm playing against a combo deck, I'm going to feel pretty stupid. Because I'm like, oh, here comes my true name battleship. But that's that's what I'm, I like. I have to play to that in game one because that's how my deck is set up. My deck is set up to just like... like I want to I want to win the true name battles. I want four of them. And I want three red blasts after sideboard. Okay, so I think we're playing against Miracles. So I think I'm actually going to fetch away my Lightning Bolt. No, it, it should be Lightning Bolt unless I stacked it wrong. Which, you know, I've been known to, I've been known to do that. Is the Strand on top? Did I stack it wrong? I really hope I stacked it right. I thought it went land, bolt, brainstorm. Did I? God damn it. All right, I'm going to trust you, Ray. Fetching might be loose anyways. And then I'm just going to jam true names because they... they in order for them to be able to, like, get me here, they still need a white source. And we have another true name anyways. Nice. Like, they're far away from being able to deal with true name. So I'm just going to push damage here.
This Snapcaster does not matter. So they're setting up themselves a miracle. So I should try to find a little bit of miracle defense on my turn. The nice thing is, is that I've got a true name to follow up. So I've got some good follow-ups. So start with an attack. Brainstorming feels so loose when I've got so much more, like, but it, but the problem is if I just make my opponent fight over this, if I make my opponent fight over this, then it's just going to make them, like, it's going to make the other two true names so much better. So I think I'm just going to brainstorm. Okay, I don't want this or this. Two days is doesn't beat. Okay. Wow, I didn't have it. I guess if I got two days is I can beat Council's Judgment. Which, you know, not thinking about Council Judgment might be loose. Yeah, dude. Shouldn't they be doing this on my turn? Unless they know the card. Okay. All right. Whatever. Two more TNA. Yes, you already let that. Give me the flusters if you free my storm. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Stack. I love how Moto stacks these four cards, three cards right on top of each other. It's like Moto knows that whenever I play against Miracles, I just want those ones gone. Hopefully we get to, I'd like to see Sylvan Library with two lands in my hand, and then I can just have three other cards and I don't give a shit. Four other cards, or even three other cards and I don't really give a shit. Silver Library is the Stone Cold Nutter Butters here. All right, well, this hand's still really good. I'm looking for, I don't know. That's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. The second land is kind of meh, but like... Maybe I should... I probably should have put the true name the furthest down. Just so that if my opponent clicks me with some shenanigans, like... You got it. Tundra. All right, I'm going to play Pyromancer because I can hold up Spell Snare, which, like, a card that makes sense for them to have, like, Counterspell, Snapcaster Mage. I don't really want to just run my true name into, like, a Counterspell and then lose a Force of Will fight. Get out of my face. That pyromancer is young as fuck. <laughs> you working today, Ray? Oof. 
this here plan of mine worked out for sure. Yeah, you get your you get your plow. Prepare the liquor order this afternoon. The important stuff. They leave the they leave the important stuff to the smart people. Then I'm gonna attack, and then I'm probably just gonna jam my true gnosis. Not protected at the moment, but you are the GM. It's going good, imbument. Nope, turn off all yields. We are going to build up to a hard cast force of will. The MSRP force of GW. Rut row. Rut row. All right, well, now we're just going to like push. So we're going to put this back, put this back. I could ponder, but I think we're just going to get on the TNN beat, beat down train. And the cards left in our, like, even if my opponent rasps the board here, my opponent's going to be at a low enough life total where we're going to be able to fight through it, I think. And we have enough resources in our deck. Oh, we should be good. What's going on? Oh, we're motoing. No. Oh. Looks like we're Moto's back. The stream might not be back. Um, OBS says we're good. I'll just refresh this. I can't, I can't tell if we're back or not. I'm working on my dashboard right now. Um, looks like we're good. Woo, we got it. All right, so we hit a 1-3 into a 4-1. I have no idea if the stream is back yet or not. Uh, if you can see me, say something, because my dashboard does not suggest that you can see me. I will stop my YouTube.